What's up guys? Welcome back to Bow Choice TV. So we're heading out to a place in town. As you can see, it's already pretty daylight out right now. I just got off work this morning at about 7. And it's 7.30, so I'm going to go sneak out there onto this hillside and hopefully get something going and never know what happens. So we'll see what we get out there. See y'all. Alright guys, I'm headed in. The ground is still really wet, so I can get in pretty quiet. I bet they're already right in that field, so I'm going to have to be super quiet getting in. probably start filming again whenever I get set up. It's about 300 yards that way. Alright guys. I've been in here for about 10 minutes now. We got one deer at the feeder. Just a doe though. If a buck comes out, I may try to grunt to try to get him to come my way. I'm about 80 yards from the feeder. So, we'll see what So here's the deal. I just had a, a fairly decent buck for where I'm hunting. Come into about 60 yards and then go straight to the feeder. So he came off of one of the two trails and he came off the further one. So that's unfortunate, but I tried to grunt at him, as you can tell on the video. And it got his attention, but he didn't want anything to do with it. I tried to rattle a little bit, and he walked about 10 yards this way and then turned around. So I don't think they're quite there yet, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hello, guys. We're at the blonde. It's really, I mean, basically just brush blonde between two cedars. Just try to fill it up a little bit. It is doing well. I didn't spook anything, so I'm walking back out of here. I'm gonna come back here in probably two hours, honestly. Been here about 12:30 or one, and just sit, 
see what happens. I'm not gonna rattle anything till later tonight. But during this pre-rut rut, you never know what's gonna come by. So I'm gonna get out there here pretty soon. I'm starving. I didn't eat any breakfast and just got off work. So let's go grab something to eat and we'll be back in the woods. All right, guys. So it's about one o'clock. And we're gonna go ahead and get back out there. They're moving like crazy, so there's no telling if a thing or anything will come in at two or seven o'clock tonight. So might as well get in the woods and just see what happens. So we're gonna get back out there, get settled up, and I'll see y'all out there. Alright guys, it's about 3 30 right now. I'm still not getting too much activity. I am hearing things run around, but not into the field yet, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and rattle to some a song. See if it makes anything jump out of here at us. super young but that bigger one was with them and then veered off and started chasing another doe so we'll see if anything else comes in it's only six o'clock so we got a while hopefully we can get something done
been limping around quite a bit because he got cut on his back leg. So I figured why not take him? He's already injured. His left side has been always, it's been a, been a little bit smaller every year and it didn't get any better this year. I thought it was a new one, but he just grew really good on the other side. So we went ahead and took him out. He's laying about 100 yards over to the left. I'll get with the other camera, but I'm excited to get him. Um, it's more meat in the freezer. Uh, and I already see him laying down. So, guys, we've got a buck down. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I can't wait to get my hands on him. So I'll take pictures and stuff and I'll send them to you. All right guys, we finally got it done. This is a an older deer we had out here. We rattled him in about probably an hour ago now and he went down about 100 yards away. So we got this cold buck out of here. He's actually injured on the other side. He's been limping around. So I'm glad to take him. I'm thankful for him and hopefully we'll get some more bucks down this year. See y'all. Well guys, I'm glad we were able to get something on the ground. I'm glad we were able to get that cold buck out of there. You guys know from the beginning of this video that they were coming in and he was coming in pretty frequently lately and he's been pushing everything else out so he was injured and he's been the same side on there but that smaller side for the past few years so i'm glad i was able to take him and hopefully we get a couple more deer down this year i still got a doe tag i can fill so more videos to come and hopefully more bucks to come by the other guys so we'll knock more deer down and y'all stay tuned should be fun see y'all